Hello you guys, welcome back for a new extreme clean with me. Today we're gonna be doing a tidy up in so many rooms in the house. I wanted to bring you guys along with me to help get you inspired, motivated to clean your home as well. I've also got some summer hearth and hand decor that I'm gonna be doing like a new tablescape on our dining room table. So we'll have some summer decor going on as well. First off though, I wanna get into it with the master bathroom because I took a shower, did my hair and all of that and I kinda left everything out. So let's get started with that. Of all the places that I start cleaning, I think my master bathroom and the master bedroom are probably the most satisfying to clean first because when you've got those like command stations under control, the places that you start your day, it just feels like everything is that much more like organized and you're ready to go each day. So with our master bathroom having been really dusty and like so cluttered, it was starting to feel overwhelming. So finally getting a chance to get all of those, you know, toothbrushing smears off of the mirror here and then also just being able to clean off the countertop, it was so nice. So if you're having a hard time deciding where to start, I would recommend one of those two rooms. Today I'm using the Mrs. Meyers multi-purpose spray in the honeysuckle scent. To me this just smells like spring and like this time of year. It's so fresh, it's got a little bit of floral but it's just very sweet and I love it. So I'm using that to start off um, and just get everything, all the dust and like random grime off. And then I'm also gonna go in over the top of it with something to disinfect since we're using it in the bathroom. anti-back and this one if you leave it on long enough it'll actually disinfect so I'm spraying that on and I'm actually just gonna leave that here and while we're waiting for that one to do its thing I'm just tidying up the couch here lately this space has just been getting a lot of use my husband and I have been watching a show it's called Heartland but it's one that we started a long time ago back when Cameron was born actually so like back in 2012 and then we kind of just fell out of the habit of watching it and we gotten back into it so every night pretty much we've been watching like at least one episode and it's a lot of fun I think we're on like season five or six now so we've really been enjoying that so after about 10 minutes I went ahead and I'm wiping off the disinfectant just to get everything nice and wiped down I also wanted to go ahead and scrape some of the mineral deposits off of the little drain stopper this matte black I love how it looks but it does definitely show that mineral deposit so the best thing I've found is one of these little tools with a razor blade in there and it works really well Now that I had the bathroom all cleaned up, another thing I had on my list to do was to go through the kids' toothbrushing bins, and I wanted to change out the towels in there, make sure everybody's toothbrushes are looking good, and I also had some more of these little flossers to put in the bins. So I don't know if I've ever showed these on my channel, but we've been using these for a couple months now. I picked up bins at the Dollar Tree, and I labeled them with each kid's names, and not only did I have their toothbrush in there, but each child has their own toothpaste. You can see Kaylee toothbrush was looking pretty bad she's been chewing it so I was gonna replace that one but that way everybody has what they need in one place and they also have their own individual towels so when they're done brushing instead of wiping their mouth on the hand towel they can just use their washcloth and I can change them out a couple times a week or so I get so caught up in the middle thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down in the sun. So I have a few ideas for what I want to do for our new table for kind of summertime. 
I picked up a table runner that's actually big enough for our table. Like it's actually long enough. And then this bottom one, this one is not only extended length, but extended width. So it should be kind of the same idea as this one. It's gonna add some texture, but it won't be <laughs> super short like the other one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and open these and then we'll see if this one needs to be ironed. I'll be the table setting all done. I wanted to show you guys something new that I picked up last time I was at Target. It's from Hearth and Hand Collection and it's their cast iron Dutch oven. I'm so in love with it. I've been looking at it, I feel like forever. I've always wanted to have a Dutch oven that was this kind of like white. It's almost a little bit cream, mm -hmm. but that shade. And the fact that Hearth and Hand, like I love their logo, I love their line, their product line. So the fact that they had it, it just made me want it even more. So I finally went ahead and bought it and I'm so in love. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I do have another Dutch oven. I got a couple years back on a Black Friday sale. It's actually more of like a turquoise color, but this baby I think is gonna live on our stove because I love it, I love the color so much. Another one of the jobs that I had on my list today was to pull out my off-season clothing bin. This is just where I keep all of my clothes that don't fit for the current season. So for right now, what I was pulling out was mostly summer clothes. And what I'm putting in are my scarves, mittens, and hats. I actually ended up putting some of the kids' clothes into this one too, but I always like to go through and look at each thing individually and make sure that it's worth saving and that the clothes 
clothes, especially for the kids, that they will still fit them next year. So I'm going through and grabbing each individual item, making sure I still love it, making sure that things are clean. And since it's not quite summer here, I wasn't taking everything out yet, but I wanted to just grab a few things and then put some of the definite winter stuff away. I did need to go ahead and clean off my Ugg boots before I could pack them away. I always make sure to give these a good clean before I store them, that way it keeps them in good condition. And I've already had these for a few years now, but I want them to last for more. So uh, I just wipe them off with a damp rag, and then before that I even use just kind of a stiff brush to get any kind of dirt and things like that off. Once they're dried, which usually only takes about, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour, I do like to go ahead and spray them down with my suede protector. I picked up one from Dansko when I first got these, and every time I clean them, I just give them a good coat, and it actually dries fairly quickly as well, and then I'm able to pack them away. show you guys one of my favorite new additions that I've been wearing this spring. These are my Sandgren's uh, clogs. I actually got these like in the fall time. They had a big sale on them and I got two pairs, a really, really good deal. These are, they're just so cute. They're like handmade. They remind me of my dance goes, but all of their clogs and things are made in Sweden and they're handmade. There's just something like really rustic and cool to me about like a wooden shoe with the leather. So anyways, just wanted to share those. And then now we are heading downstairs. I'm getting the kids involved because this area is pretty much, it was destroyed by them. So I like to get them involved when I can. And we really have been watching a lot of movies. Like every day we're watching a movie. I know we're all stuck at home and everybody is, well, we're trying to stay home. And in between the distance learning, like the homeschooling and trying to find activities and all of that, there always ends up being time for a movie. And then movies, you know, you always have to get out popcorn. So that ends up all over the place. So I had the kids, you know, help with picking up the blankets there and then also sweeping. By the way, Kaylee is four, she just turned four in March, and she does an amazing job with a broom. So if you need some ideas for how to get your kids involved, I think some of the, the easiest ways to do that are dusting, sweeping, and helping unload the dishwasher. And at that age, you know, three and four, they can totally help with those sorts of chores. So if you haven't already, start getting them involved young, and then they'll help you out when they're older. I just wanna love you, right? I just wanna love 
it for today's extreme clean with me if you got some good cleaning motivation out of this one make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because i put out new videos every single monday and i'd love to have you back if you're still cleaning and you need somebody to clean along with you then make sure you check out my most recent clean with me over here as well as a recent freezer meals video over here all right i will see you guys next week